hello youtube welcome back to my video so in this video we are going to check how to send a json request using java and uh, read the json response from the server okay so basically uh, we'll be sending uh, to a server a custom made uh, json request and we'll be reading a, a test response uh, from uh, the server so as a test server i have found a website uh, the website name is guru json rpc dot app appspot.com so in this uh, website uh, there is a service url where we can pass a json uh, request and it will be returning a sample json response okay honestly i couldn't find any web open web service which is accepting json request and uh, returning uh, me the json response i could only find this one if you find any any other uh, link just share me i'll try to do a video on that also now yes let's try uh, this is the uh, a sample json request and let's see what is the response coming here now if i'm just calling that method here the response is coming it as just for uh, json rpc and id is one two three and the result hello guru okay so whatever we are called uh, giving in this uh, space it will give us a, a hello message into that okay so if i'm just calling it is yes it's coming like this so now here is a message uh, it is only uh, accepting the post method only okay so if i'm just copying this link and if i'm pasting this in my same url it should not work because it's accepting only post if i'm trying to get this it's a uh, uh, actually a, a get request if i'm copying that directly in my browser as you can see here this is the message please use post method instead of get okay so we have to pass it uh, through post method only now we'll try from outside of uh, this website i have a, a client a web service client the name is a postman uh, chrome i have a, it's a chrome app actually i have installed in my uh, my chrome from my chrome web store just click on that if you don't uh, have this just uh, install it by uh, clicking here uh, in this one in this area you can have uh, the install button now so i actually i have already installed it now let me that uh, launch that app and uh, and test uh, the same uh, web service from postman okay now let me launch the app yes uh, the app is launched now from uh, the browser i mean uh, let's copy the service url from here let's go to the postman and you can see here we can uh, create a request actually let me go uh, paste the path so this will be our uh, request path and we are submitting as post and as this is a, a json request so we can directly set it uh, pass it as body okay now if it is not a, a json request if it's a form data we can set all the key and values here have another video how to use this postman just go to the description we can have that as this is a json request you had to pass uh, the data as a row and let me copy paste uh, the json string here actually the request come back to the postman paste it here and uh, let's try uh, running this from here now let me uh, write something here have I have modified the, the request a uh, little bit so I have uh, given the param as a united state and uh, the id I am giving it as 8963 and now if I am just uh, requesting this one the response you can see here it is returning me the json rpc as the key and the value is 2 and id is uh, 963 and the result has hello united state okay so this is a response which the server is returning for uh, us for the request we have sent um, for the json request we have sent okay now we are going to try this using java so uh, through java we will be sending this uh, particular uh, json request and we will uh, read the uh, json uh, response from the server and we will pass it using java okay so here we go for that let's uh, go to the eclipse now where you have we can create a java project so this is a basic java project the, and i'm going to create uh, this java project in my eclipse neon if you don't have the eclipse neon please go to the description i have uh, i given the link to download that you can have it now i'm gi uh, given the project name as uh, post json request okay 
so uh, the project has been started so in the src i'm going to uh, create a new package so the package name i'm giving it as uh, com dot .com. so inside that i'm going to create a new class so the class name i'm giving it as uh, post json yes the class has been created now i'm going to copy paste the code which i have already tested and tried so i have uh, just uh, created a method inside this one and the method name is post json and uh, the there is the code for uh, sending the post request of the json so the query url is the uh, service url and the, the json string json is the json uh, string format of the json we are passing and we have to import something uh, to get this work so we have to import uh, the url from uh, java.net and the uh, uh, http url connection is also from java.net and output stream is from java.io and input stream is from java.io and buffer input stream is same from java.io yes now the io utils for this io utils we have to import apache commands jar so we have to add that jar file in our uh, build path so to add that just go to uh, the build path of your project i'll share uh, the this jar in my description you can uh, have that so just click on add external jars and navigate to the location where you have saved your jar file now open your jar file and add this jar file in your build path libraries and click on ok and now import this java utils from apache commons io let's uh, just press control space it will import it yes it's imported successfully now again there is error this is because we have not added try cache uh, uh, for our code because there is a chance of uh, getting exception so just add try catch block uh, around here complete code till here okay till here just paste that try catch inside let they, let all that be inside the try catch and just uh, print uh, the error if any yes we are all uh, set uh, to run yes we have to set that the query url and json so the query url in our uh, testing is the service url just copy there and paste it in the query url and the json string we have to set it so we have we can set this and uh, the best way to do that is copy the complete uh, string and paste it here so there will be an error because uh, this double slash is not accepted inside the string so to accept it just add slash to all double slash inside uh, the string so here it is and here it is here it is yes we have finished now we have set uh, the input string i mean the record string uh, json uh, format and uh, the query url is the and we are all ready to uh, run uh, the code so to run the code we'll have to get a main method here and uh, just uh, call uh, this uh, method here post json dot uh, post json yes now i guess you can see here the result is getting as uh, a string and uh, this will uh, print a string uh, string value of the uh, response okay now let's go to run as java application and wait for the project to run completely yes it's still running yes here is the response so i have got uh, the string version of the json response we uh, from the server and this is just printing out from here now we have to pass string version of uh, the json using java okay so we'll have to use uh, another java file for that to get this string first convert into json object and we'll pass uh, uh, the values the keys in the json object one uh, one by one okay so here we go I'll, I'll write the code for that and i'll explain how it works okay i have just written the code to convert uh, the string the string result in, into a json object and uh, it's reading a uh, one one by one each uh, one by one key each and i'm just uh, 
or return the code to pin in the console okay now we have to add a jar to get the uh, json object so i am going to my build path again mm, build path configure build path and we have to add an external jar and just navigate to the location where you have your jar this is my location paste it here and just double click on that and just press ok and we have to import this json object uh, from that jar okay now just press control space and it will be uh, in imported from org dot json dot out json object okay now we are all uh, set to uh, run the code and by running this code uh, the, as I told this uh, a string will be converted into JSON object and it will be passed using by Java okay now let's go to run as and Java application and let's see how it works no there is an error uh, JSON object ID is not found uh, not a, a string yes as you can see here this is the JSON string and all these values is uh, inside a double quotes which means it is an a uh, string but you can see the id here one two three it's not in a quote means uh, it's not a string okay so it's an in now i have just coded to get the string here if i am changing this to get int so i have uh, just made to get in value and now if i am just uh, running this again and let's see the output now Yes, the output has been generated and uh, the JSON string we have converted into the JSON object and we have passed it one by one each value using the key and uh, here is the output in our console okay so that's all for now how to send a post request to a post JSON request and get the response of a JSON request from the server and pass it one by one each key and each value and show it in our console if you have any doubt in this uh, please comment below i'll be helping you i'll share all the source codes and the java files required to run this uh, class in the description you can have it and uh, please like and subscribe for my videos and thanks for watching